Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to just go ahead and jump in and inform you guys of my progress in the league. I don't exactly know what day we're on. I think maybe day five or day six, uh, maybe day four, but I'm going to assume day five. So I don't remember where I left off previously, but we're about to hit level 91 on this character and hitting 10,000 health is becoming more realistic as the levels go onward. So I want to go ahead and go over my gear really fast because I have changed out a couple things. So I'm still using Bright Beak. This hasn't changed. Uh, I may look for some Vol Implicits, maybe for like Calling Strike or something. Uh, but it's just not really a priority right now. I might be swapping to Dorian's Catalyst too because we've got ridiculously fast Shield Charge speed with no flasks right now, which is pretty cool. Uh, but we'll worry about that later. We've got the Essence Crafted Helm that we're still using for Horror. This needs to get upgraded soon because it's only really like... A small amount of life, no strength, suffix, only one resist. This shouldn't be too bad to upgrade. Uh, still using a Rise of the Phoenix, nothing has really changed there. Uh, same marble amulet as before, so all of my jewelry is pretty much the same. I did upgrade this uh, sapphire ring, it's virtually the exact same thing, it just has more res. Uh, I do need to swap to two opals and another marble amulet and anger craft them with some essences of anger here to get the extra fire damage rolls. Uh, my Calm's Roots are the exact same. I also need to do the Dreaded Uber Lab farm to get the 2% regen enchant. Uh, the big thing that I did change though is I ended up rolling these Titan Gauntlets, which took 17 or 18 insanities to craft, which kind of sucks, but that's life. They're not even that good. They really just have a life roll, uh, and that's pretty much about it. Insanity, I believe, is a suffix, I think. Uh, which makes it a little hard to resist and scrap these. And I do have some other ones I've stumbled upon as well. Like, um, this is 81 life with fire. With You can see 16% more attack speed. This is 62 life with two resists. But unfortunately, these did not work for my build. So I had to go craft another one. Uh, I also ended up dropping my Onslaught Flask. Simply because, I mean, I feel like my shield charge is good enough right now. Uh, and I decided to run a Granite instead. Because I feel that with the Basalt nerfs. Uh, I am taking quite a big hit from some physical mobs, so going from 8k to 18k, I feel does make a little bit of a difference. Um, and then of course with my Basalt plus Granite on, plus Endurance charges, technically I'm capped on physical damage reduction, but I don't ever believe that number. I also changed my Pantheon a little bit, and we picked up Soul of Tukahama, um, simply because I feel on bosses I can just face tank them, I can just sit there and, and sit still. Uh, and 8% physical damage reduction and 2% regen is like quite a bit of physical damage reduction, man. So this is honestly like not a bad thing to take. Problem is, is like when I'm mapping, it's never on. I'm just going fucking zoom, zoom, zoom. Um, I haven't really decided if I'm going with Soul of Arakali or maybe Soul of Solaris. Uh, I think these are both really good ones. Um... Haven't been hit recently, except on a boss I'm always hit recently. I don't know, so like there's a, there's a bunch of interesting things between these two. Um, I mean, ultimately I would definitely go for Arakali because that reduced shock I think is really good for this build. And chance to avoid lightning damage is just good in general. My big concern about this is that I'm going to have to spend like 50 chaos, more than 50 chaos, 60 to 70 chaos to complete this because... Um, if you look at like what you need to do, you need shock and horror. So if I were to look here, shock, shock and horror, I don't even have on my map. It's like a T, it's a tier, it's a red map and it's somewhere located here. Uh, so for me to do that, either I would have to buy it off somebody, which I don't even know if it works properly yet. I have to still mess around with the Pantheon, but the, the downside is I would have to basically spend three red sextants, right? Plus a scour orb. To create a cartographer's seal, right, as a red version, and then I would have to take the cartographer's seal. Now that alone, those sextants are 11 chaos each in hardcore right now, right? I would have to use my said seal on the map and get rid of it. Now that was an excavation, and the reason why I got rid of that is you have to do that for the shaper's orb. So, uh, this is what happens when I don't go on D&D, boys. So anyway, that pretty much covers that part. I did actually respec Oak. I decided that when I got a Combs Heart, I thought it was not necessary, but it's not too bad of an option to respec Oak. I don't know exactly where I'm going with those passive points, so I decided to do the, the spec through here. So going through Armor Mastery is two points right here, right? So instead of two Strength Nodes, I decided to just connect in through this Armor Wheel to get Armor Master. 
I don't know if I really like it. I don't know if it's better to just get Soul of Steel. I don't know if it's better to just get Endurance Charges. But for the two points on Oak, I would rather get the increased armor, which makes up a little bit for the physical damage reduction. Uh, and the life regen cancels out. And then it's a little bit of movement speed as well. Um, I don't really know if I'm going to respect this later for Soul of Steel. I haven't decided. I probably will, but we'll see. I still have this life node to fill up in here. Uh, and then I guess it's pretty much either three point jewels or getting attack speed or maybe Templar life regen or I don't really know. We'll figure out what happens after that. That's like past like 91, 92 and we're about to be 90 so we're not really in a rush to, to allocate those nodes. So in terms of my shaping strategy, I kind of covered this yesterday uh, in a video that I made. I decided to shape dunes and race course this go around. Um, I've never tried race course before but it's a pretty solid map. I'm also a really big fan of maps with multiple mobs in it, like Strand bosses, sorry. Strand had two bosses, Racecourse has three, so if you roll double boss, that's six. So I'm pretty excited to see how that works out. The reason why I haven't started chain running them is because I had that excavation on my map, or on my atlas that I just removed. So I was running like tier 8 and tier 9 maps yesterday, building up my map pool today. I'll still probably finish up some tier 9s, and then I'll jump right into my tier 10s, and then go into my tier 11s, and then reset back to tier 10s. And let the Atlas shaping pretty much begin. Um, so that's pretty much going to be it for now. Uh, it's pretty much the updated guide that I have for you guys. I haven't changed anything with my gem links. Uh, this is Purity of Fire. or Sorry, this is pretty much like an open blue socket. I'm probably going to use like Purity of Elements for Ellie Weakness maps. And uh, Vault Lightning Trap otherwise. Or I mean really it doesn't matter. You just use whatever you want. Um, in terms of quality gems, that's something I need to do as well. Quality everything in your Righteous Fire, except for your Righteous Fire. That's probably like my next goal, is just, is just I don't know, buying straight up 20 GCPs and just quality in white gems. Because this is 30% increased damage, which is pretty nice. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Just wanted to keep you guys a little updated. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.